on a trip to Colombia, my first full vacation of the year. Just kidding. <laughs> there was a global tech outage and my flight got canceled. <laughs> like you can't make this up. I'm standing right here next to my luggage. The original plan was for me to travel Friday at 6 a.m. from JFK to Orlando. So New York to Orlando and then get on, get there at 9 a.m., get on another flight in Orlando to Medellin at 10 a.m. When I got off work at like five or six, I checked into my flight for the next morning. Everything showed that it was fine on the app. I did the immigration thing, which got that done, packed for a few hours, watched Love Island UK, was not even paying attention to my phone because I'm like, I'm all checked in, you know, we're good. At around 11 p.m., I see a big red canceled on my flight when my immediate reaction was like I, I wanted to cry and i called the lady was like oh it's a weather issue or something and i was just like what like it was not raining here it's not raining in orlando it's not raining like anywhere so i could not understand how it's a weather issue but she was like we could switch you to a flight on the 20th which is saturday there's a flight from new york to uh, fort lauderdale from noon to 3 p.m i'm like okay that's not bad and then the next flight from Fort Lauderdale to Medellin is at 10 p.m. It gets there at 12.30 a.m. Colombia is an hour behind right now, so it's, it'll be 1.30 a.m. our time. And they don't have another flight tomorrow. So it's just like, I'm going to be at that Fort Lauderdale airport for like at least seven hours. Like just doing God knows what. So that's the start of the Columbia trip. I don't want to make this intro way too long, but I want to show you guys my home country. If you haven't been there, you know, a lot of people don't get to internationally travel because of just how difficult it is to. And I want to show you guys my culture. We're going to go to Medellin. I actually am from Medellin. My family's from Medellin. But I also have a lot of love for other parts of Colombia. There might be some Spanish talking on this vlog, so yeah, we'll see what happens, but I'm, I'm excited to vlog this experience for you guys. Currently reporting live from the airport. I am Flying Spirit. I had to come to LaGuardia and the terminal here at LaGuardia is like the worst terminal, like airport terminal I've ever seen in my life. It's completely separate from the rest of the airport and it's like has like a Dunkin Donuts Express and then like one restaurant that I could not even tell you like I paid $20 for like a Fire Island ass sandwich and a water and they wouldn't even let me sit at the restaurant which is right here because I said to go so I had to sit in like this other area. So, so far, very nightmarish. They already said they overbooked the flight and that they needed six volunteers. It's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be me. I need to fly. I need to get to Fort Lauderdale today. Just make sure you're sitting in your correct assigned seat, is it? I made it to Fort Lauderdale. I'm officially on. The Lulu level like a thousand. I edited a vlog. I still have to make the thumbnail and post it. But I am so delusional. Like everything feels like an alternate reality. <laughs> and airports already feels like a warped time zone kind of scenario. So it's not helping. to Colombia at 2.30 a.m. Eastern, 1.30 a.m. Colombian time, the longest day of my entire life, but I made it safe and sound. Now we just pray that my bag also made it with me. We got an Airbnb in Medellin. This isn't my parents' apartment in Rio Negro, but we're staying here because we were supposed to spend the whole day here and have a lots of fun, but look at my cute bed. We are back to life. Woke up this morning, early, bright and early. We're gonna go to a little cute town called Jardin. My cousin's got us a house there. So I just put this on for now because it's kind of rainy and like cold. I'm gonna bring a change of clothes in case I wear anything else later, but. As of right now, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to 
have some makeup on and look a little bit alive even though I'm still really tired. Very, very grateful to be here today. Here's a view from the little Airbnb. <laughs> We're getting breakfast right now. Buñuelos. If you know, you know. That's my uncle, godfather, right there, and that's my dad. Right, see me <laughs> Fire breakfast, entertainment, shots, and beer. That is the Colombian life. Airbnb look how adorable this house is like it's so gorgeous colorful like traditional Colombian Para <laughs> YouTube Hey, qué Had a really fun day and then we found like this like restaurant on top of a lookout that looks sick up there and then after that it started getting a bit chilly but we decided to come and like hang out again outside because we got to you know we're in this new place We checked out of our Airbnb. Today, we're gonna stop by for ice cream first. I'm wearing these cute orange pants. They're so comfy that I got from my friend's estate sale. This fruit shirt I got from Amazon. And I have this like guest backpack that my parents got me a while ago. With this little butterfly like attachment that I got from Mackinac Island. And my hokas. These hokas have been the best for walking and running and all of that stuff.
gorgeous this little town is. Woke up in Rio Negro, which is the place like really close to the airport where my parents have an apartment. So it's kind of the first time I'm really getting to sleep there and like check out the town and everything like that. My dad said that the town has a lot of history, a lot of like the Colombian liberators signed a lot of paperwork. It was just Independence Day here, so there's a, a lot to see. And we're gonna have breakfast now. I just kind of threw this on. Just easy outfits to throw on because it's really hot, but it's also really sunny. <laughs> No, ya. Good morning. I am currently on a social media cleanse because I have no service. <laughs> I'm still at my parents' apartment. I've got a couple things to tell you. I'm obviously doing my hair, but I am on a cleanse from social media. Not because I want to, but because I have the T Mobile international plan that works in 200 countries but for some reason in this specific apartment i get zero service so unless i turn on data roaming which i'm terrified of how much that's going to cost i <laughs> have no service also i woke up today it was really like foggy and cold but now it's like super sunny and i'll show you guys like a better view of the apartment but i guess like there's a water problem in this apartment which doesn't ever happen but of course it's like the first time i'm actually staying here like my family has stayed here so many times throughout the few years but i haven't been to medellin in like seven years so but of course like the water ran out this morning and well first the water pressure was really low which was causing the water heater to not like automatically turn on because of that and i really had to wash my hair today so i took a really cold shower this morning which is something i used to do when i used to come to medellin like forever ago but then the water completely ran out my dad hadn't showered yet so we had to like go downstairs and get like buckets and they have like a bunch of water downstairs that you can carry back up i'm just like it's always an adventure around here so now we're getting ready to go to another town called um, la ceja we went to jardin jerico and these are just little towns that are like on the outskirts of Medellin. Medellin is like the main city, like very busy, very buzzy. Cars, motorcycles, nightclubs, everyone's working kind of vibes. But the places we've been to have been a lot more like chill and like pueblito vibes, like little town vibes, like the traditional Colombian Medellin paisa style. So we're gonna go to another one similar like that. This apartment, my parents bought this one, this building was just being built. So they got it at a really good price. And then they also have a villa in the coast, which they sacrificed a lot, you know, of their savings and everything to invest in these properties. So lucky for, you know, for me, I get to enjoy their investments, but I'm trying to invest myself in Colombia because I'm also a Colombian citizen. So I would love to have my own property here. Eventually I'll kind of give you guys an idea. Oh, the lighting here is bomb, okay. They were, we're on the 14th floor, which is the highest floor. So you guys, I don't wanna drop my phone. There's that building there. There's, I think there's six towers in total. I could be wrong. And then they have a pool, a little playground. There's like, you know, all this is like really nice. This used to be all greenery. Now this is all construction because there's gonna be more buildings coming up. I don't know if I'm trying to invest here specifically, but you know, I think I do eventually wanna buy property here so I can come and be able to work remote and just chill because it's just so beautiful here. And 
I washed my hokas because they have gotten very dirty. I just got these not that long ago and they're so good for walking and everything. I love them so much. I'm obsessed. Just took my rollers out <laughs> so I can talk to you guys. Look how cute my hair came out. I did, I actually brought little rollers, which I never do for trips, but I was able to make it work this time. But yeah, I basically want to just be able to invest in different properties. My dream, even though like, yeah, I would love to buy a house, my dream has always been to own different properties in different parts of the world. So that way, whenever I feel like traveling to that part of the world, I can go there, I can rent them out as Airbnbs or whatever when I'm not there. That's the best like life plan for me. <laughs> en Spanish. Si estás viendo este vlog en español, perdón que no hago muchas cosas en español, yo sé que estoy en Colombito, pero sí, prácticamente lo que estoy diciendo es que este apartamento y una villa que tienen mis papás allá en San Antero, que es la parte de, de la costa de Colombia, eh, ellos las pudieron comprar, era porque invirtieron súper temprano y sacrificaron mucho para poder tener estas cosas. Entonces yo también... Um, ya que tengo más de 30 años, también quiero empe empezar a invertir en mi futuro y ver como que, que me sale mejor, qué pueblo, qué ciudad, si va a ser el propio Medellín o si va a ser un lugar así más callado, más tranquilo, eh, todavía no sé, pero bueno, uh, ya fuimos a Jardín, fuimos a Jerico, fuimos a, vamos, hoy vamos a ir a La Ceja, ahora mismo estamos en Río Negro, aquí es donde queda este apartamento, entonces, sí, estoy feliz porque ya Jerico usó mi video, la página oficial, entonces de pronto hay oportunidades así para poder hacer videos y fotos y todo eso aquí también, que es lo que a mí me gusta hacer. And back to English. I was just saying that with Jerico, which is one of the little towns we went to, they used my video. Unfortunately, they didn't ask first. I would have sent them the original. They screen recorded and they still credited me, but I definitely wish they would have asked, but it's fine because it just kind of like gives me a heads up that there's a lot of like opportunities for like content creation for places here and companies here. And you know, it could be something that I could do eventually as well, especially being bilingual and wanting to, you know, see what kind of better things I can do for my own future and my own career and everything like that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. But right now I'm just really chilling with this nice view. And I'm just like really happy <laughs> to not be like working my corporate job right now. That's all I'm gonna say. I do have recommendations if you've never been to Colombia and you want to come here eventually. I know there's a lot of digital nomads and like Americans, Europeans that are coming here now. Just do your research on like what places are safe, what places are good to stay at. You know, like if you go to these like cute little towns that I'm talking about, it's so chill, it's so quiet, everyone's like so nice. You don't have to worry too much. Like you can pull out your cameras, record, do your thing. But there's places in like Medellin that's like, you know, the, the prime parts of like the city where it's like buzzing there could be a lot of thieves there you don't want to you know wear too much like jewelry you don't want to have your phone out like somewhere where someone can snatch it it can't be dumb in those areas because there are people that are going to take advantage of tourists so just like everywhere else there's the beautiful calm peaceful parts and then there's the parts that you have to really look out for there's a lot of beauty to see here and you really cannot go wrong with coming here it's going to be so much fun regardless but i just wanted to throw that out there because I want to show you guys some parts. Um, there's other parts like near Medellin as well that are really popular. La Piedra del Peñol, which is like this huge rock that you can climb. It has stairs. You can climb and just see the whole view. And the town right next to it is called Guatape. I'm probably not going to go this time around because I did that last time I was here. And it's not something that you do every single time that you travel, you know, go to the same places. You want to see new places as well, but it's something that I really wanted to recommend to the people watching this vlog. If you ever come to Medellin, you have to go to Guatape. It's like the most colorful, cutest little town. Um, you'll see a lot of remnants of the Colombia that maybe your parents, you know, would hear about on the news. It's so dangerous that there's drug lords, that Pablo Escobar and blah, 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 Griselda. Every single movie that represents Colombia and every single show always represents that dark past. But there's so much beauty, you know, to see. And there's so much that we have culturally changed since then that we have progressed from that. Not to say that there's not still a lot of like prob probably drug dealings and like drug use but 
it's not something that is, you know, keeping people afraid of just existing here. No, like, you know, you're not going to be scared, like, walking around. Just like everywhere else, it's chill. But I promise it's not scary. It's not threatening. But you do just have to be careful in some areas. <laughs> you know, it's in Spanish because I was telling you that hay que ir a Guatapé, si uno viene a Medellín, eh, posiblemente yo no voy a venir otra vez a Guatapé porque ya lo hice la última vez y es bueno hacer cosas nuevas. Pero si uno va a Guatapé, a la Piedra del Peñol, todo eso son lugares muy chéveres para ver aquí en Medellín. Y no, solamente diciendo que con todas partes del mundo hay que tener mucho cuidado de donde uno va porque hay muchas partes bonitas, tranquilas, como los pueblitos y hay partes que son más peligrosas, pueden haber ladrones, pueden haber you know, traficantes de droga, lo que sea. Pero a la misma vez, eso no, no quiere decir que el, el Colombia que uno vio en las noticias que los, que nuestros papás estuvieron aquí en esos momentos de los Pablo Escobar, Grisena y todo eso. Ya la cultura ha cambiado muchísimo desde esos tiempos y no hay que pensar en eso, ya hay que seguir adelante. This is the hat that my dad bought me. In Jerico. It is so cute. It's like pure leather, cow print. I'm obsessed. I uh, just need my cowgirl boots. And. Or I saw some really cute motor boots here. They actually have such good prices on my like, clothes and jewelry and like mostly everything. The only thing that, that cost me the exact same was a roll of film yesterday. We were able to go to a camera store and get a roll of film which is crazy it was still like the equivalent to twelve dollars i'm like why why couldn't i find freaking 35 millimeter film for cheap as hell Guys, I'm dead. I just woke up from one of those naps where like you're in a different dimension and I woke up to no water <laughs> in the building. <laughs> like this has never happened here before and like I guess a pipe or something burst near this apartment and like none of the towers have water or like surrounding buildings so they just had to get firefighters to come bring like a ton of water in like containers. I'm like bruh, where am I? What is happening? <laughs> Holy sh! Look at the line to get water right now. What? Literally, has never happened, and it happened this week that we're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where they signed the Constitution of Independence from Spain and it's so pretty. It's free to come here. It's in Rio Negro. I didn't realize that Rio Negro was like one of the leading places that they would all meet up. So I got to learn a little bit of Colombian history today because I don't really get to do that that often. I normally only know the United States history so very peaceful and gorgeous here. <laughs> On my way to my first beauty appointment, it's a massage in Colombia. And I'm going to start doing these more often here because they are so much more affordable to do facials, nails, hair, dental stuff, surgeries if you want to go that far. There's so much to do here for the Lolo. to do a scalp massage and a shoulder rub for an hour. 
costs like $30 here. struggling today <laughs> Whew. yeah we were out late last night like late last night and i drank a lot of whiskey which is not me at all <laughs> i'm usually like don't really drink that much when i'm home but i was trying to you know keep up keep up with the cousins and be young and wild again but it turns out it hits the front at 30. I've been trying to recover all day and I just like have not been able to recover. And I'm like, last Saturday I was at an airport all day wasting the whole day. And then today I'm just wasting the whole day just trying to recover, like from being hungover. Finally gonna eat something. I'm gonna say bye to my dad's side of the family and I'm gonna go to my mom's side of the family today. So I'm looking forward to that, but last night was a lot of fun though. We went to La Setenta, which is 70th Street. It's kind of like a mini South Beach. There's a bunch of bars, restaurants, other places that I still want to check out in Medellin that are like good, like going out places. But I don't know if I have it in me anymore, bro. <laughs> I am no longer 17, 18 years old, apparently. Comuna 13, which is a place that used to be really dangerous and it's still, you know, gotta keep an eye out, but there's a bunch of like murals and graffiti and the vibes are vibing. It's definitely very touristy now. Super touristy, but super fun and definitely if you're in Medellin, you gotta come here and check it out. Claro que sí. Para la mía, la va a subir. 
Se va, va a ir a bailar José Miguel. Centro de Medellín, which is like kind of the downtown area of Medellín. Part is like really busy with stores and there's a huge museum, so we're inside the museum right now. A lot of things to buy and shop and everything. The only thing that I would say to the tourists, if you come here, don't wear any like real jewelry. Don't have your phones out like recording. Um, there's a lot of people that like pickpocket and take things here, so I would just be extra careful if you wear a backpack just wear it like in the front and yeah just don't try to look too obvious it's, but this museum is stunning um there's a bunch of like botero statues on the outside which are like gorgeous i just got like pictures and videos from the inside i have my little digi cam so any like outside photos or videos i'll take with that but i used the wax for my hair for the first time and it actually does really work like there hasn't been any stray hairs even with the wind and everything I'm wearing my little cherry outfit. Hello, Che. Mira, mira, mira. 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 Let me pick up. Me ride. Last night here. Bye, Colombia. Hi cuties, reporting to you live from the last day in Colombia. Very tired, it's been so fun, but I've done things like every single day, so I'm like really wiped today. Pretty much I hung out like a few days with like my mom's side of the family. We had a lot of fun and did a lot of things. Last night I came back to Rio Negro, where's my dad's apartment's at, and we just walked around, looked at some jerseys, but there's like no more like Selección de Colombia jerseys at all, <laughs> especially after they lost, they like stopped producing them. So yeah, I wasn't able to find the ones I wanted, which is like the black and the orange ones, which I love because it gives also like spooky vibes. But it's okay. We're doing like just some last minute errands and just hanging out until I go back to the apartment. I wash some clothes, getting ready to pack everything up, and head back to New York. So. Just wanted to say thank you for watching this vlog. Definitely like and subscribe. It's a free way to support an artist. And I appreciate you all so much for being on this YouTube channel. Y otra vez, muchas gracias. Los que están viendo en español. Soy muy agradecida por todas las experiencias que tuve en este paseo. Y de verdad que aprendí mucho. Cada vez que vengo a Colombia aprendo mucho de mi propio país y cómo conducir todas las cosas acá. Entonces espero venir más largos plazos y tener propiedad y mantenerme aquí más tiempo porque esta es mi tierra entonces muchas gracias por todo por favor si no lo han hecho hagan el like and subscribe al, al video y ahí seguimos hablando los quiero mucho